So, received a question through my email. Um, someone asked me, hey, you know, my um, ex is taking it slowly with the new rebound person. You know, maybe that's the real thing. Maybe that person found love after me and that relationship is going to work out for the best. And that person is going to treat them better than they treated me. I'm just so hurt because that person left me for this person. And their relationship is blossomed and doing good, so it seems. So, um, getting straight to the point, you know, um, you got to understand that rebound relationships are not built to last. 90% of um, rebound relationships fail. But they also have that 10% that it work out but that shouldn't be your concern your concern should be focusing on self i understand that it hurts i understand that you dramatize and stuff like that over you know your relationship and stuff like that your past your previous relationship and you, you know you want answers you want closure things of that nature but the long long you stay in your feelings the longer you try to sort out answers I mean, as long as you try to figure out what they got going on over there, you're not moving on. You're putting yourself in a rut, making yourself stuck. See, the thing is, you got to understand, the most important person in your world is you because it's your life. Don't focus on what they have going on over there. What you should do is, I hate to say it, you got to forget about that person and focus on yourself. You be like, well, Warren, man, I was with this person for like 80 years. We got kids together. You know, I can't forget about this person. This person is a part of my life. No correction, this person was was a part of your life. You're right. I was part of your life. A lot of people have relationship issues with people they don't they're not in a relationship with. The thing you stressing over is past tense time to let it go if you don't let it go and you don't move on you will suffer and you will become a fan of their relationship if it fail there's no there's no guarantee that that person gonna come back to you if it fail so why even you know worry about what they doing over there see the thing is there's an abundance of everything you're trying to achieve in this world everything you want in this world if you lose one person yeah I guarantee you there's another one right around the corner. See, the thing is, a lot of people don't move on because they get stuck in life. They don't. They either can't find the one that's better than they you know the ex one, or they can't find the one equal to the, to their loved one. Now, this here's the thing: how you get over that hump, you improve yourself and be the best version of yourself. Then you will attract what you want in your life. You know. Um, when I was in um Oakland, I seen two homeless couples. I mean, a homeless couple, and the homeless guy had a homeless girlfriend, a wife. I don't know what she was to him, but they were just sitting in their little trash pile together and stuff like that. And um, I was like, but well, dang, ain't that something? He homeless, and he attracts somebody that's on his level. But if he would have boss up, he would attract somebody that's on his level also. So that goes to show you, you attract what you are. So the thing is, as far as the rebound and their little relationship is the real thing or not, nine times out of ten, it usually fails because it's based off a lot. They monkey branch over there. That pattern is going to repeat itself. So you don't want to be you know, a rebound to the rebound. You don't want to be do that reverse monkey branching and stuff. Stop paying it. Stop becoming a fan of their relationship, even though you was with that person for umpteen years and stuff like that. It's time to let it go. Let it go. Forget them people. Let it go. Move on with your life. Better your life. You now work on your finances. Work on your body. You know, work on your mindset. When you focus on the past, you stay there. In the past, doing nothing, wasting your life. Your ex didn't stay in the past. You no, know, nine times out of ten, people that monkey branch, 
to another relationship. You know, nine times out of ten, they have low self-esteem. They cannot be alone. Isolation is a gift. Be alone. Fall in love with yourself. Ask yourself, who do you love more, yourself or this situation? If you love this situation, the situation that you're in, then you're going to suffer. If you love yourself more than the situation, you're not going to tolerate the situation, and you're going to come up with ways to get through that situation. Now, just remember this. I'm going to say this, then I'm going to go. You know, there's no story without a struggle. You have to go through something. This right here just sparking your greatness for something better. Now, with that being said, I want you to reach out to me if you need more um, insight on this. You know, don't just be cherry picking through my videos I'm like, well, this apply to me. Sometimes these videos don't apply to everybody. It apply to certain people. You know, you might hear a video that sounds good to you, but it's not for you. So, therefore, call me, text me. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't call me. You can text me, email me, email me, and we can go from there. Now, with that being said, I want you to do this these steps. First, put God first in your life, and everything will fall into place. Pray for one another. Watch out for one another. The world is changing. Change with it, but change for the better. You know, and with that being said, peace on God.